this question about whether you are a craftsman or an artist and what the distinction is came up in lots of different forms of questions. Um, Chapel Fourth One set wanted to know, was the exhibition a deliberate attempt to elevate the field of crafts and decorative art and open up the debate about the statue of crafts in relation to art? Do you think there will ever come a time where craft is seen to be equal to fine art? That's interesting because it's like what, what makes it equal? You know, is, it, is it about the auction price? Because if you know, you've got the, the rise of the Oriental market now, the Chinese art market, and they're paying millions and millions of pounds for craftsman-made ceramics. You know, that's the kind of prestige. So we might get a shift within the overall visual art world as the Chinese become more potent within the, the art world system, and that would be interesting. But then the exhibition, I called it that as slightly provocative because I, you know, I'm, a, I'm very much embedded in the contemporary art world. But of course, if you go to the Tate, every scrap of paper, every piece of poo, literally, you know, is only significant because it has a famous name attached. That's, a lot of the time, that's the only thing that makes it significant. Whereas most of the things in the British Museum are anonymous. We don't know who made them, yet they are still very significant. So I wanted to kind of say that there are other qualities rather than the kind of celebrity of the artist that makes something. Because as an artist, I'm very aware of what I call Picasso napkin syndrome, which is this sort of fact that I've got this kind of 20th century version of the Midas touch, where if I do a little doodle, it's worth money. And that's quite a weird and horrifying curse if you're in the creative business because you become incredibly self-conscious. And so I wanted to make a little point about that. And of course, mm -hmm. a lot of the objects that I love, you know, when I go into, if I go into a, uh, I don't know, an old church or something, what makes me go, <gasps> and sometimes literally cry, is the craftsmanship often. I mean, obviously the art of it, the actual, the sort of beautiful aesthetic realisation of it is important, but often it's the quality of the craftsmanship that, that I'm in awe of because a lot of those skills are lost. And so when I go to an art gallery, I want to see something special. I don't want to see something where I could think it up in the bath and just phone it in. 